All right, so David Dozier here and with me, Ryan Hemphill, and we're over here at the North Brevard Art League's Pottery Studio, and we're about to open up uh, a project that we're working on right now that has been, uh, let's see here, 2004 was when you first made this, uh, this bust. The original clay. Yeah. The original clay bust. So basically this has been going on since 2004. So what we're going to do here is we're taking something that was uh, originally made in a mold back in 2004 and we are going to actually turn it into a uh, slip cast mold. So, but what we have to do first is we actually had to go through and add in all the clay. We had to put in the monster clay in here into this, uh, into this thing and basically into this mold and basically create a new casting so that we could edit the casting and make sure that it's really appropriate for doing a plaster cast because there are a lot of differences between doing slip casting and doing a normal casting. Now one of the things you'll notice if you haven't ever seen like a mold before, um, at least from a, like a normal mold, most mold, normal molds if it's a large piece will usually incorporate two different pieces. There'll be the outside which is called the mother mold. Now that's basically the part of your mold which is protecting the interior and it's basically there to provide rigidity and to make sure that, your, um, that the mold is going to actually hold up in exactly the right position. So we already took the bolts out but what we did was when they made this mold basically they had these bolts in here to hold it in exactly the right position. So there's two pieces to that and this is all actually made out of fiberglass so this is really really stiff. Now on the interior you'll see here this is a very flexible material. This is probably some kind of urethane foam type material. And essentially what this was done is this is the soft part of the mold. And this is what this is designed specifically to do is to capture all the nuances of David's work or you know some other sculptor's work so that you catch all the fine detail. You wouldn't be able to do that with fiberglass for obvious reasons. And plus on top of it, if it wasn't really flexible, uh, then what would happen is it would tear itself apart when you try to pull it apart. So what's really nice is you get this stiff mold on the outside which we're going to pull off first and then we're going to pull off a flexible mold on the inside and then what we're going to see at the end of this is a mold of a casting, uh, excuse me, a casting of the uh, a sculpture of Rudolf Steiner. Rudolf Steiner. Um, so okay, so let's uh, let's get this thing started, and we're gonna pull off. We're, what we're gonna do first is we'll pull off this side of the mother mold. And there you can take a look here real quick. That's the uh, that's a fiberglass piece there, and then we're gonna take off the other side. And David, if you want to just peel it, pull it off the mother mold side on that there, should come off pretty easily at this point. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Okay. Now one of the other things that's really, that's really a sign of a high quality mold here that you're going to see is that what they did in this particular case was they made this all a one piece mold but they made it so that it was really flexible and they used the flexibility to their advantage. So what you're going to see here is you see how it's like looks like he's got kind of a mohawk going down the back. Well that actually is because this thing opens up in the back. And they did that so that they could actually capture all the work that David did on this on this sculpture in the first place, without actually uh, disturbing any of it with um, with any uh, flashing that would happen across the face. Because that's one of the few places that you want to make sure that you include as little flashing as possible. Now that's not that's not something you can avoid when you're doing a slip cast mold, but when you're doing this kind, you absolutely can. And that's basically why this was built the way it was. So at this point. Uh, David and I are going to uh, peel this thing back. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to so hold it in this we, position. We should probably give some credit here to Orlandi Sculpture in Chicago who made this sure. mold oh. and did the original cast. They did a fantastic job. Very nice. Get it right over the ear. Perfect. Okay. All right. Wow, look at that. Okay. Dave, you want to hold it? Go right ahead. Right. So, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, this monster clay casting of the from the original mold by Orlandi Foundry. There's a few uh, areas that need to be touched up, but... Um, Absolutely. But it's really 
it's really very, it, very, it very. It came out really nicely. Really came out nicely. So just right. a few spots to touch up here and there. Yep. And even with the guard. Yep. So let's see. There you go. There's a close up. So this is uh, Rudolf Steiner, who uh, was the founder of Waldorf Education and biodynamic farming, and a big influence on homeopathic and um, medicines and skin care. Also worked in architecture. Um, it's hard to say what he didn't work in. Wow. <laughs> He's a more, busy man. One of the reasons he may not be better known was if he had just done one thing, he would probably be better known right. than if he had influenced like seven different major areas of culture. Anyways. All right. So. So. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to actually start working on this piece. There's a couple parts that didn't, that didn't get done the way or, or didn't get filled in the way we wanted it to. But we knew that that was going to happen because of what we needed to do in order to get this thing done. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a bunch of adjustments to it and make, make it so that it can actually be put into um, several parts into a slip cast mold and then pull out real cleanly. So we're going to need to make those adjustments and we'll take you through that process as we go through. All right, we're going to sign out for now.